talk about, three things we're going to talk about. First thing I'm going to talk about is what's in us. So imagine this. I've got this nice orange up here. You guys see this orange? So if I squeeze this, what happens? You got a squeegee, right? Because you'll need it. So what's happening, guys? What's coming out? Juice. Why is orange juice coming out of this orange? Because he said it, because it's an orange. That's not why orange juice is coming out. The reason orange juice is coming out of that orange is because that's what's in it. I could squeeze all the orange juice out of this, or basically try to, and fill it, maybe inject it with something else. The reason that orange juice is coming out is because orange juice is what is actually in it. Does that make sense? That's analogy number one. Here's what you got to get. What is in you when you feel stressed or you feel pressure will come out. How many of you have felt, maybe in your marriage, a little bit of a squeeze? How many of you felt the squeeze in your marriage? Or maybe in your finances, you felt a little bit of the squeeze? Is that anybody? How many of you with your children, maybe you felt a little bit of a squeeze, right? Somebody said this, we were talking about babies one day. They said, you know, when, when they're babies, they're so cute, you just want to eat them. <laughs> but when they grow up, you wish you had, <laughs> you know. So we feel squeezed. There's all kinds of things, right, that we can feel that we can go through that cause us to feel squeezed. And what's in us is what actually comes out. And so it, just a little snapshot here. If you're looking around you and you're not seeing a lot of the things that you believe really are what God wants for you, what I would challenge you to do is to get really clear on what you're putting in. And in the Bible, in the book of John, it says that in the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, and the Word was with God. I think that as we can get more Word in us, more wisdom in us, more good things in us, I think we produce better results. Would you? Yeah, and so when we feel squeezed, then good things come out. What happens a lot of times is people get squeezed and they just want to quit. A lot of times what happens is when people feel stressed or they feel pressure, you know what happens? They'll go for something, then they feel a little bit of pressure, and what do they do? They start pulling back. And see, I believe that us as leaders, us that Jesus called and said, hey, go into the world, make disciples, as leaders, I think we're going to have to learn to handle some of the squeeze. I think the world has lied to us, and here's what I think the world has told us, that for us to do anything and enjoy our life, we have to always be comfortable. And here's what I want you to understand of, of what I have learned over eight years of speaking full-time, tens of thousands of people, hundreds of events, here's what I know. I believe that human beings are addicted to comfort. It is an addiction, and it is a lie that for us to have a nice life, we always have to be comfortable. One of the things that my mentor told me years ago, he said, Ronnie, you'll be successful when you can get comfortable being uncomfortable. He said, leaders are people that are willing to stretch out and do something different than what everybody else is, is trying to do so that they can produce something greater. 